Royal Watchers and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and in today's news, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been keeping busy despite not having ventured out of their new compound in Los Angeles. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex reportedly recently left their rented home in Canada for the US before borders closed due to the outbreak of the coronavirus. Along with their 10-month-old baby Archie, the royal couple have been hunkering down in their new home. Although it is unknown where exactly they are staying, it is believed they have been eyeing up a 5.4 million pound Malibu night property. Petra Manor has a five bedroom property and boasts a tennis court, a wine cellar, swimming pool and impressive grounds. The pair have opened up about how they, along with a fair chunk of the rest of the world, are finding it hard to adjust to life indoors. Harry and Meghan posted on the Instagram last week, our emotional well-being is challenged every day, whether we realize it or not, but our lives usually fall with distractions. Now with constantly changing COVID coverage, we are all adjusting to this new normal and the feelings that come with it. These are uncertain times and now more than ever, we need each other. We need each other for truth, for support and to feel less alone in a time that can honestly feel quite scary. While they cannot be physically close to their loved ones, the Duke and Duchess are offering their support remotely. Harry has been in touch with his father, Prince Charles, who tested positive for the coronavirus earlier this week. The couple have also used their significant social media platform to share the Queen's message about the disease. At times such as these, I am reminded that our nation's history has been forged by people and communities coming together to work as one, concentrating our combined efforts with a focus on the common goal, Her Majesty said. She added, Many of us will need to find new ways of staying in touch with each other and in making sure that loved ones are safe. I am certain we are up for that challenge. Harry and Meghan also pledged to share resources to help people navigate the uncertainty of life amidst a pandemic. So far this has included promoting Crisis Text Line, Give Us a Shout and a Kids Help Phone. The Sussexes have also taken part in the hashtag clap for our carers moment, which saw millions of people applaud for those tackling the coronavirus on the front lines. The Sussexes have also taken part in the hashtag clap for our carers movement, which saw millions of people applaud those taking, tackling the coronavirus on the front lines. Thank you for all that you continue to do, they wrote on an Instagram story, applauding you from across the pond. And to top off what has been a busy week behind closed doors, it was announced that Meghan had a bet for her first royal family job. And to top off what has been a busy week behind closed doors, it was announced that Meghan has bagged her first post-royal family job. The 38-year-old has narrated a Disney documentary about elephants, which will be streamed on Disney Plus on April 3rd. All of this comes in the days before the couple formally leave the royal family on March 31st. Harry and Meghan's move to LA from Vancouver was revealed earlier this week. Harry and Meghan have left Canada now for good, the source told the son. The borders were closing and the flights were stopping, they had to get out. But this move was planned for some time. They realized Canada would not work out for various reasons and they want to be based in the Los Angeles area. They have a big support network there. It's where their new team of Hollywood agents and PRs and business managers are based. Megan has lots of friends there and of course her mom, Doria. The Sussexes are claimed to have left the 11.4 million pound mansion they were borrowing in Vancouver and took a private plane out of the city shortly before US President Donald Trump and Canadian PM Justin Trudeau closed the border between their countries. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you next video.